Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and I'm about to take you through a 15 minute standing workout. So one round takes 15 minutes. The only equipment I'm using in this workout is a chair in my body. So that's all you need, something to step up onto. And I have my timer. As always, the breakdown will be on my blog, BenderFitness.com. Um, so you can follow along with me for the time or you can choose to do it for reps and the breakdown for that will be on my site as well. So we have 10 seconds to prep. We're gonna start out with step ups with kickbacks. So we're gonna modify, make sure you're stepping onto something really nice and sturdy, something that's not gonna tip over on you. I'm gonna start with my right foot on the chair, holding onto the back, and we're gonna keep the knee bent, extend back, come down, repeat, pushing through that heel for the lift. You can let go if you want to, or you can just fingertips for the balance. So that keeping that bend is forcing your thigh to work the entire time. We're going to go for max reps, so I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit. Again, still making sure you're keeping balance, core tight, pushing through the heel every time you stand, using all of those leg muscles. Keep breathing. Hopefully you're feeling the burn in your thigh by now. Okay, same thing on the other leg. This thigh gets a break. Time to work the other one. Breathe. Here we go. Push that heel up toward the ceiling. Again, keeping that bend. Pushing through the heel every time. Keep moving. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Keep that knee bent. Core tight. Almost there. Okay, next we have side step up. So we're gonna start, whoops, we're gonna stay on that side first. Step up with our right leg. Again, fingertips touch, keep that bend, and we're gonna lift to the side, working the outside muscles of our butt and thighs. And again, you can either hold on for balance, or if you've got the balance, lift. But make sure you have the balance. No falling off of our chairs. Again, control up and down. Push through that heel to stand. Core stays tight. Keep breathing. Almost there. Good job. Same thing on the other side. Give our right leg a rest. Keep that bend in the left leg. Make sure it's balanced. And then give that leg a nice lift. If you want to increase the challenge to your outer glute, you can hold. You'll feel this outside part of your butt should feel like it's working when you do that. Keep that bend. Keep breathing. Good job, guys. Okay, next we have split squat. Left leg's gonna start back, right leg standing, core tight, big step in front of the chair, tops of the toes or top of your foot on the chair. Pull that core in, sink the hips straight down toward the ground, push through the heel to stand. All the way down and up, so it's not a forward-backward motion. 
You can use the wall for balance if you need to. Keep breathing. Good job, guys. I can feel the burn. I hope you can too. It means it's working. And lift. Lower and lift. Control the motion up and down. Okay, same thing on the other side. Shake out that thigh. We're going to switch it up. Left leg, right leg behind you. Core tight. Lower and lift. Press through the heel. And again, focus on the up and down motion. Hips stay in the same spot. Down and up. Lower them toward the floor. Breathe. Good job, guys. Keep going. Try and keep that balance. Good job. Next we have Half Moon. So this is a modified version of Half Moon. We're going to start with our back foot uh, angled perpendicular to our front foot. Lunge. We're going to lean forward, weight into the front foot. Keep the hips squared and stacked. Arm reaches up. Back down. So you're tilting forward, core tight and engaged, reach it up, flexed foot, lower back down, breathe, breathe, good job guys. Find that balance. <laughs> okay, same thing to the other side. So as you progress with that move, you'll be able to get rid of the chair and reach toward the floor. <sighs> okay, same thing, perpendicular back foot, front foot pointing toward the chair, core tight. We're going to lean, stack the hips, reach up, and reverse it. Find that balance. Knee faces forward. Good job, guys. Okay, next we have a leg raise. So we're going to start with our right leg reaching. Hold on to the back of your chair for balance, facing the chair. Chest stays lifted. Foot uh, points, leg stays straight. We're going to lift the heel toward the ceiling, turn it to the outside of edge of the foot toward the ceiling. So rotating hips closed, hips open. Try and keep the upper body still. Keep the movement coming from your leg. Keep breathing. Working the glute from every angle. Standing leg is doing a lot of work right now too. Core stays tight. Okay, same thing on the other side. Core tight. Chest stays lifted, left leg points, and lift. Turn that knee to the side, knee to the ground, knee to the side. Using those glute muscles.
Good job, guys. Keep going, alternating which direction that foot is pointing. Work from the hip. Okay, next we have standing leg circles. So I'm going to put the chair to the side, again using it for balance. Core stays tight. We're going to extend our leg in front of us. Try and keep it at whatever height you just lifted to. Bring it out to the side and then out behind you. Reverse. Use those core muscles. Out, back, behind. So try and keep the core still and working. Keep that foot at the same level throughout the movement. You're going to feel it in your legs and your core. Good job, guys. Other leg is next. Okay, so same thing on the other side. Oh, I guess I didn't really have to swing the chair around for that. <laughs> Core tight, right leg moving this time. So extend, try and keep that level, bring it out, bring it behind. Keep breathing. Good job, guys. Keep it lifted. I know it's challenging. It's one of those moves that looks easier than it feels. Good job. Almost there. Less than 10 seconds. Okay, next we have standing knee circles. So we're going to bend over, placing our hands on the chair. Back is going to come flat. We'll start with our left leg. We're going to bend, keep the knee bent the whole time. Press the heel behind you. Bring that knee toward your elbow like you would in a Spider-Man. Press and in. Use those core muscles as you pull in and as you stretch back to stabilize. So core stays tight. Press that heel. And press. Good job, guys. Keep it moving. Good. Same thing to the other direction. Keep breathing. We're going to get ready to flat back. Our foot is going to press, heel presses toward that wall. Use the core to bring the knee in. So hips stay where they are, knee comes around, and heel presses back. Core tight. Good job guys, almost there. Okay, last exercise is going to be a sit to stand, alternating legs. So we get to sit down, hands are going to clasp. Try not to use them to help you up. If you have to, it's okay. One leg extends. Push through the heel, control the motion back down, switch legs. And if you have to, use both feet and squeeze on the way up. Of 
Great way to practice for your pistol squats if that's one of your fitness goals. Control the motion up and down. You're not plopping, you're sitting. Big difference. Good job. Keep moving, almost done. Core tight. Ah. Okay, everyone. That is one round of today's workout. If you are up for it, repeat it. As always, the breakdown will be on my blog, benderfitness.com, along with over 650 other free workouts, 30 day challenges, 12 week challenges, all kinds of stuff and recipes and tips for healthy living. So hope to see you guys there. Click like if you like the workout and click subscribe if you like getting free workouts. See you next time.